So what are you doing here today, Mark? You going to uh, suit these guys up, or are you just here for supervision? I don't do anything. <laughs> I just check on them. I have no responsibilities. I thought, that was, I thought that was Drew's job. No, no. That's, so I, the first supervisor is them, and I supervise him, Excellent. which means I don't do anything. He's really independent. He's doing a good job as, as your EV1. You've been happy with his performance? He's been doing great. Right. So I can just leave him alone. That's the way to do it. All I have to do is occasionally remind him, don't screw it up. <laughs> I don't know. It's a future of science at stake. It is. It's like real science. Real science, real stuff. AMS. Better than that telescope. <laughs> Not really. But maybe. Maybe it will be. Hopefully, I'd say hopefully it will be. Hopefully it will be. Guaranteed. Guaranteed it will be. So, Mark, can I ask you something? Maybe. All right. You were explaining to me. All right. I might you're, not answer. That's okay. You, I, we got Drew here to make something up. Right, make but you were explaining, you know, we, we used to say with Hubble that Hubble's unlocking the secrets of the universice. But I think with this AMS, I mean, this is some pretty exciting stuff. You're gonna unlock you, more secrets of more the universe. Secrets, more secrets of the universe. <laughs> you're like the secret unlocker. Yeah, better Because you did secrets. Hubble. Better secrets. No, not better. Different. Different, better. different secrets. Much better. All right, but Marcus, tell me a little bit about this. Can you, can you, so can Hubble you can only see stuff, right? This is good, right? Yeah, so right. It's like, it's like pictures. Just, is that real right. science? Yeah, but it just takes pictures. So Next AMS, I'm going to tell you, is they're all fake pictures, but anyway. Drew, make sure he doesn't lie. All right, go ahead. So what AMS can do yeah. is, as an example of one of the things it can yeah, do, is, yeah. is, you know, you have all these galaxies and stars out there that Hubble could see. Yeah, very and pretty. And there's a theory that some of those may be made up of antimatter. Yeah. So inside of stars, you have the bigger elements are made, like oxygen, nitrogen, that have a lot of electrons, a lot of protons. Yeah. So. If we can sense an anti-oxygen or anti-nitrogen particle coming through AMS, yeah. then we know that some of those stars and galaxies that Hubble sees may be made of antimatter instead of matter. It's a pretty big deal. That would be like one of the greatest discoveries ever. Maybe ever. Ever. Maybe the greatest discovery so ever. Maybe the combination of Hubble and AMS could work they together. Each other. I think they do. We I think they we do. We wouldn't have built AMS if Hubble wouldn't have allowed us to ask I, I think there may be some truth there because Hubble could see this stuff but can't explain what it is. Right. right. So Hubble kind of identified the question. Yeah. Now AMS is going to try to answer Hubble it. Hubble is the photographer and AMS is the scientist. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. And how's this crew doing, Mark? They're doing great. Yeah. The next time they do this EVA is going to be the, for real. Can you imagine? Hopefully on April 30th or May 1st. Toward the end of your mission, that sounds like. When you yeah, guys. So this is EVA 4, so this is <coughs> currently on flight day 11, but if we get an extra day, it'll move to flight day 12. All right. We'll add the extra day there on flight day 9. All right. And they haven't been giving you too much trouble? Shannon has been behaving? Not yet. All right. So does this spacewalk have anything to do with the AMS? Uh, no. No? No, actually, you know, our AMS, hopefully we can install it ro completely robotically, and that goes perfectly smoothly. Oh, so, so you, but you have contingencies, robotic. though? Right. So if there's any problem installing it, then oh my so gosh. contingencies. But and you guys would go out and do that? Yeah, if all the mechanisms work, it should... Would that easy. extend your flight much, or would you have to do extra EVAs, or yeah, you know, we'd have trade to do stuff right away, off? So we'd modify the first EVA out the door. Modify that one, and... Yeah, because we'd have to hold it off temporarily, and... Oh, my God. Well, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. Because yeah. you got enough work to do. You know, you've got these other things you want to do. And That's very important. we got to get right. that thing installed. you got that thing. Now, does Sam Ting, is he counting on you to take care of things? Exactly. Yeah. He's a uh, He's an MIT guy, isn't he? I'm the he? guy who's doing the final grappling. Those mechanisms. You are? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you don't want to screw that up. million dollar riding on a motor. To Never mind the money. we got to find out. we got to, this is, this is a very important information we're going to get exactly. out of this thing. Exactly. You'd have the whole world mad at you. We better not show this tape till after he's successful. No, that's, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, that's quite a responsibility. Yeah. And it's great to be a part but, of something like know, that. We, have, we got it all figured out. Hopefully it'll go. Yeah, you guys way. you guys will have no trouble. Yeah, yeah it's amazing, amazing uh, potential with the data from that uh, experiment. Yeah. The first time looking at particles instead of uh, just light. Yeah. yeah. That'll be great. Understand where the... Yeah, if I just light, because that's yeah. what Hubble does, I guess. Right, right? it looks at light. It looks right. at light. Right. But this thing's actually going to detect what the actual stuff is, because Hubble's detected right. stuff, we don't know what it is. And Hubble is, um, you know, coming up with some amazing discoveries. Yeah. You know, probably one of the most important ones is, you know, the universe is expanding at an accelerating, accelerating rate. rate. Instead of, yeah. So what's, you know, gravity, 
that makes no sense with an understanding of gravity. Right. And uh, AMS may help us figure That's that out. That's that dark energy that might be out it there. It may be. The There's energy. something out there we don't know what yeah, it is. call it dark energy, dark matter. Right. But, you know, AMS may help us well, figure that out. Well, maybe AMS can, and then our kids can think we were all stupid. Oh, they didn't even know what that stuff was. They called it dark. It would be like the dark ages when we didn't know what dark. Right, something, something right. like Star Wars. Well, I hope you guys uh, don't, you know, do well with this, because this is important. Yeah, it's quite important. cool responsibility. I'm sure you guys are going to do a great job. And yeah, I don't believe that they don't get in there. Well, I'm on, That's good. I'm oh, you're alive, you're alive now? Oh, you can't really say anything? Okay, so now we can ask him anything we want. Well, he can't say. Right. He can't say. All right, man, have a good run. Good luck. So the next time you're gonna do this, you can't really talk, can you? Because you're I'm hot, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. That you? No, that's definitely not me. But next time you do this, you're gonna be in space, man. What do you think of that? It's, it's pretty awesome. It's surreal. It's exciting. It's amazing. Yeah. Following in your footsteps. Nah, well, you well, uh, kind it's of. It's a nice thing to say, Mike. But bigger. yeah. <laughs> and you guys were like 100 miles higher. Yeah, we didn't go. We didn't go where you're going. You're going to you're going to the station, which of course you've been to for many. You spent have you spent a year of your life on the space station? Yes, 2.5 percent of my life. 2.5 percent of your life has been yes. on the space station. How many? 2.4 percent. How many? But how long? How much time have you had? Is it? It's uh, over a year, right? It's uh, over, just over a year. Just a little over a year of your life. And now you're just going for 14 days, kind of like a little reunion. To be busy. Be busy. All right. Hey, okay, well, have a good run. Good luck, Mike. Hey, Mark, so uh, Greg was telling me that the last time Which he was uh, Greg Shamatov there, Taz. What do we call him now, Taz? All right, so Taz, you know, I've known him a long time. You know how long I've known this guy? We went to grad school together. No, in, gra in, in graduate school. That's a smart dude. Have you tried? Does he like murmur? At, you know, when he's just, he's, he's, a, he's one of the smartest guys I've ever met. He's like Rain Man. I mean, the guy is a smart dude. What's that? He had like four pages of notes for the brief yesterday, handwritten. Who, Greg did? Tested. He's a genius, man. I was man. like, hey, Taz, can I look at some of those? <laughs> yeah, the first time I met this guy, we were at, I, was, I was studying like 2 o'clock in the morning. One of his roommates and I were in like the, in the you know, at their kitchen table in their suite. Like Sorry. But first time I met him, the first time I met, the first time I met this guy. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. First time I met this guy. NASA uh, behind the scenes. He was at MIT. We were at MIT and we couldn't. My, my buddy and I couldn't figure out the homework. This guy walks in. It's like two in the morning, right? He just probably got up, and he has a gigantic orange. And he's peeling this gigantic. And he comes over. He looks at this. So he figures it out like in about ten seconds. You know, and, uh, and not, you know, I mean, not that we were that. Orange juice on it while he was. Chewing. It was unbelievable. Like in two, he goes, "Oh, you just need to do this, this, and this." And I'm like, "Okay, great. This is a smart dude." But he was telling me, Mark, that the last time he was in space, you took him up there. I did. And you left him behind. I closed the hatch on his. You did. His face. All right, so you're not going to do that. This. Sad. I did. It was, it was. It was pretty sad. I was like. Was it really? I felt somewhat guilty. Really? Oh yeah. Did you? Would you? After you said, "I want to go," would you? Well, would you? It wouldn't, would you, you know, it wouldn't be like a tip, typical, you know, six-month increment. You might get like a visitor, but we were a three-person per crew, and the next shuttle flight wasn't scheduled for six months. Whoa. To pick him up, so we had no visitors. So I closed the hatch on him, <laughs> and the next time anybody new showed up, it was his ride, <laughs> ride home 180 days later. So it was it kind of like was it like dropping your kids off at college. Well, I know you haven't gotten to that point yet, yeah, but I mean, no, it was like, no. sorry, dude, <laughs> chunk. <laughs> did, he, did he cry? He's like, don't let me, don't leave me here. He was he was a big boy about it. I think he liked it. Really big though. <laughs> it's like holy. <laughs> but you are going to bring him home this time. Because he's a little concerned. He actually said, I hope Mark remembers to bring me home. He'd, he'd probably stay up there if someone offered it to him. Yeah, I think he likes it up there. My brother likes it. Yeah. So they might do it again. Yeah, yeah that's what he told me. Oh, I asked him. He didn't that's sound like he was ready to do it right now again. No. <laughs> he need a break. Yeah, need no a break. training and then about a year. Yeah, that's what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, as he's saying. That's what, that's what we all want, isn't it? Yeah. So, Drew, this is your first time to the station. So what are you most excited about? Volume. Yeah, flying. <laughs> flying. 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 Like Explain Superman. yourself. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. The space station to the other. Flying Not while I'm outside. While I'm inside. While you're inside. When you're outside, you're gonna be very careful, of while course. I'm out, while I'm outside, I'm gonna try not to get lost.